Now, let's look at multiple ways that you can duplicate uh, a layer inside of Toon Boom. So first of all, I'm going to use a brush tool for this. So I'm just going to go on over here and then uh, access my brush tool settings. So I'm going to increase the size right over here and then work around with this. So uh, I'm going to choose a regular press for this, a solid press, and increase the size just like this. So I'm just going to draw out some frames. So I'm just going to draw out one frame over here, and then another frame right over here, another frame right over here, and another frame right over here, just like this. So you, you can see that now I got four frames. So just like that, I got a sort of an animation right here. So now let's work around with duplicating the layer. So in my case, you can see that I have my X seat turned on. In your case, if it is turned off, you can go to Windows and you can go to X seat. And if you don't know about X seat yet, so that you can see my previous lesson or you can see lesson number six of Toon Boom, you can learn more about X seat over there. So now let's continue. So if I want to duplicate my layer, I got three options. So the first option is I can right click over here and then once I right click, you can see that I got three options. So I can duplicate the selected layer. I can clone selected layer drawings and timing, and I can clone selected layers by drawing only. So I'm just going to go over here and duplicate the selected layer and let's see what happens. When I actually duplicate the selected layer, all it does is it creates an exact carbon copy of the layers just like this and they're not linked together. So if I were to add in some frames over here, for example, this is frame number one, frame number two, and so forth, as you can see, let me just turn off the top layer right over here. Let us just work around with the bottom layer. So if I were to move this to the side, maybe I want to add in a bit of details over here. You can see that I changed this frame right here. I'm going to go over here onto the other frame as well, move it to the side. I'm going to go over here, move this frame to the side as well, and I'm going to move this here frame size as well. So you can see that there's an independent animation right over here. But once I turn on the other layer, you can see that it didn't actually change the top layer. So the top layer, uh, the details, everything remain the same. And on the bottom layer, what I can actually do is I can start adding in frames so I can press shift plus right over here. And you can see that they are independent of one another. So they are not related in any way. So this is how you'd normally uh, duplicate a layer. But in Toon Boom, you got other option as well. So I'm just going to delete out this layer right over here. And now let us look at the other cloning features. So I'm going to right click over here. And once I right click, you can see that you got two option of more, more for duplicating. So now let us first select this one. So clone selected layers with drawing and timing. So once I actually do this, uh, they are an exact carbon copy of each other. So if I were to actually go over here and make a change, for example, if I were to add in a timeline right here, you can see that it actually reflects on the other layer as well. So just like that, whatever changes I make on the top layer happens on the bottom layer as well. So if I were to actually move this around, you can see that the bottom layer is affected as well. So if I were to turn this layer off, for example, move it to the side just like this, Turn on, you can see that the changes has happened over here onto the top layer as, as well. So if you want both of the layers to actually work exactly the same, then you might want to use this. So you might be uh, might not want to rework and have the same exact carbon copy for some reason, then you can actually use this layer. So anyways, I'm going to delete this. And the other option you have is you can actually just let the frames uh, be the same. So you can see right over here. Uh, I'm just going to go over here and add in two, just like this. So same frame is actually there. Now, what you can actually do is you can right click. And the third option you have is you can clone the selected layers as drawings only. So once I actually do this, now what happens is that it seems like it's an exact carbon copy right over here but the timing is not copied. So instead the timing is individual. So if you were to actually go over here, add some timings right here, you can see that it does not affect this layer right over here. It actually just affects the top layer right over here. But if I were to uh, go over here, you can see that right now which frame is used is uh, frame two is used. So if I were to go over here and make changes to frame two, for example, if I were to actually uh, go over here, and then type it. This is frame two. So if I were to draw something up over here under frame two itself. So let me just go to frame two, draw something out here. What happens is that the frame two actually remains as it is. So it is actually making changes to the drawing. So you want to have individual frames uh, over here. 
uh, individual frame timing but you want the frame to remain the same in both of the layers then you can actually use this option right over here so like for example in frame number one if i were to move this frame over here you can see that the frame over here uh, frame number one remains the same for both layers so if i were to go to an empty layer and type in one on either one of those then you actually get the same frame so over here if i were to uh, press one you can see that the same frame actually appears so it is not independent so that is how uh, the three type of duplication uh, options actually work so you can duplicate the selected layer which keeps them independent you can duplicate the drawing and timing which keeps the drawings and timing interrelated they are exactly the same on both the layers and the third one is drawings only so it only keeps the drawing as it is so that is how uh, you can duplicate this, the layers inside of toon boom harmony so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe